Tom, George. These are two of our new recruits. Hey, your shelter mate is still in hospital, yeah? Yeah, Ben was back for two days, then back to that barn over there. Hospital's in a barn? This ain't Philadelphia, Sonny. Right now, what we got is that barn over there for the sick and wounded. Pretty bad, huh? No, it's still the fast trots with Ben. What's that? Dysentery. Diarrhea. Uh, we lose more men to disease than we ever do in battle, eh, Sergeant? Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Well, we'll visit him after a while when we have yeah. the chance. Meanwhile, you tent up with this young lad here. He is green, I know. But I hear he sleeps warm and stays quiet. He better. We'll see. <laughs> well, good luck. You're in good hands with George. He's one of our best men. Even though he's still as a private! You look about as old as the sergeant. Yeah? Well, I used to look like his kid brother. War does that to a man. It'll age you quicker than anything, with, with all the hard marching, the fighting, and all the rest. Now, they offered to make me a corporal, even to make me a sergeant once, and skip all them two stripers. That's too much responsibility. I like it just fine where I am, Private George. I was just putting my kit together. Now, come on over here, and I'll go through everything we have, and then I'll see what you've got and what you can do without. Hey, Sergeant Gordy. What's that you like to call us on campaign? Well-dressed pack mules. <laughs> a pack mule. And you thought you were a glorified soldier boy. <laughs> well, maybe you're a bit of both. All right, welcome to the infantry. Let's start with the basics. Now, we're the Federal Army. That means we wear what the regulations tell us to put on. The dark blue blouse, the light blue trousers. Now, the rebels wear gray or butternut, so you can usually tell us apart. Now, sometimes you can't. Like when we get so dusty from marching all day long, we get as brown as the revs. On your head, you've got your forage cap, or a hat. Now, the cap looks more military, but for general everyday use, you can't beat a big old soft hat. I've got one of both. I wear this one for inspection, this one most every other time. If you see a chance for a hat like this, you get it. Keeps the sun off your neck, the rain out of your eyes, and the blasted bugs out of your hair. Don't be surprised if that uniform doesn't fit. That's the Army way. No custom-made clothing. On your right hip, you keep your cartridge box. That's where your ammunition is stored. It'll hold 40 rounds of ammunition. Now that means you can fire your weapon 40 times before you run out. Okay, here on your left hip sits your bayonet scabbard and your bayonet. All right, up front on the right is your cap box. So it's up front like that. Starting to look like a top rail soldier. First rate. You've got your haversack sitting here on your left hip with your water canteen on top of that. You want these cinched up tight like this so they won't flop around if we've got to move fast. All right. Now the heaviest part of your gear, your knapsack. Where's yours? Over here. Yeah, bring it here. All right. Even with just the necessities, knapsack's still going to be heavy as the devil on your back. So carry what you need. Yeah, extra pair of socks, extra drawers, extra shirt, a towel, a uh, housewife, candles and matches, some twine. Now I figure with all these necessities, you'll have room for one or two personal items. I like to carry my, my, my pipe and tobacco. I carry paper so I can write home. I can read and write. Me too, and I keep a letter book so I can copy all the letters I write. Copy your letters? Son, you're gonna be doing well just to write them once and send them. But I've always copied all my letters. Ah, marvelous. All right, let's see what you've got. White gloves? <laughs> I suppose you think you're gonna be guarding General Meade's headquarters, or maybe even the president. <laughs> What's this? Keepsake box. Keep what? It's a keepsake box. Uh, mementos, things to remember from when I was younger. Marbles, my first primer from school, an arrowhead. Send it home. But Ma thought it'd be a good idea to have in case I got homesick. Send it back. Let your Ma hold it for you. I don't want you to lose this along the march if your knapsack gets too heavy. But Ma's likeness is in there. Uh, here, you can keep that. Send the rest back home. Were you ever a kid, George? I don't rightly remember. All right, 
You got your shelter half with you? Here. Good. Later on, I'll show you how the two halves come together, your half and mine, to provide us with a little shelter at night. Oh, that's a blessed moment, I'll say. You've got your shelter over you. There's nobody yelling at you to keep up with the column. You can actually feel the earth pushing up against your back. All right. You see how I got my gun blanket spread out here? Then the shelter half and the wool blanket over that? We roll all this up. And then after we get our knapsacks on our backs, then we can add the bedroll. You help me with mine, I'll do the same for you. That's a lot. A lot of stuff, yeah, you're right. You add a spring fuel to that, and you're carrying half your weight all over again. Now, some of the boys don't even bother with a knapsack, like Tom here. Ah, eh, we call him Socrates, because he's got a college education. Hey, Tom, why don't you tell the kid why you don't use a knapsack? Come over here, crude. I'll show you what he means. I like to travel light. Nothing more than I need. Shirt, socks, gum blanket, a shelter half, wool blanket. Roll it up. Tie the ends together. Put it over my shoulder. No pack straps digging into your shoulders, eh, George? To each his own way there, Tom. Knapsack does more than hold everything you got. Heck, I've even used it as some cover in a skirmish. It also serves well as a pillow or even a writing desk. He's right there. Many a time when I've been writing a letter for the boys to home, I could use a pack for a desk to write on. Never fear there, Socrates. Writing desk is never more than a few files away should you need it. I appreciate that, George. That's the way we operate. We share everything we have, right down to the last cracker. If you're going to go visit Ben in hospital, you better do it now. We'll be forming up in a while. Right. Hey, Tom, why don't you go see Ben? Take my recruit with you. Come along, recruit. I'll show you what all the suffering this war is about. 